The Bass Station 2 has two envelopes, which can be used to shape the synthesized sound over the time a note is played. One envelope is chained to the amplifier and therefore controls the loudness or dynamic of a sound. Whilst the other envelope, the modulation envelope, can be applied to either the pitch of the oscillators or the cutoff frequency of the filters. We can also chain both envelopes together to share the same attack, decay, sustain and release times by setting the select switch to the amp and mod end position. The envelopes behave much like any other synthesizer's envelopes. The attack slider sets how long the envelope takes to rise to the peak level. The decay slider sets how long the envelope takes to sink from the peak level to the sustain level. The sustain slider sets at what level the envelope remains whilst the key is pressed, after the attack and decay stages have passed. And the release slider then sets how long the envelope takes to sink from the sustain level to zero after a key is released. The triggering switch allows us to set how the envelopes are triggered. In single mode, the envelopes will not re-trigger when legato notes are played. Meanwhile in multi-mode, the envelopes re-trigger when notes are played, either tied together or not. In auto-glide mode, Portamento is applied to any legato notes, but not to notes played separately. Otherwise, it works exactly as single mode. We will see later that auto-glide mode is very useful when playing the sequencer, when notes can be tied together. The depth of each envelope can also be modulated by the velocity of each key press. This can be set by the on-key functions for both the amplifier and modulation envelopes. <laughs> 